Then I quickly want to touch upon this is courtesy of Kicks on Fire regarding the latest on this Air Jordan 3 white cement reimagined. So it looks like Jordan Brand are going full tail on this reimagined stuff that they're doing. They already did it recently with the Jordan 1 Chicago's, um, which were what you got lost and found, sorry, which are reimagined where they kind of essentially aged them artificially by adding crinkled leather, cracked leather, by dyeing or, you know, kind of staining the midsole to make them look like they were in storage um, for ages and whatnot. Um, adding some white bits of foam and chalk or whatnot underneath the shoe also you know having laces that were maybe sale and not pure white and then i think the last thing was having this fake receipt the store receipt of a shop that they originally purchased the shoes from which is again a little bit of a slap in the face because you could be argued that nike single-handedly ended pop you know mom and pop stores because of their kind of very heavy-handed approach to merchandising and stock allocation and you know who gets tears or who doesn't get whatever and you know whatever maybe or sales all that sort of stuff was a bit crazy back in the day so you know yeah i could you know i'd imagine if you're a store you saw that you'd be a little bit peeved but also i'm a little bit peeved because i feel like this reimagined stuff is really annoying because it's only done to service sneakerheads it's not going to service anybody else i don't think you're a regular smegular person down the street who's buying sneakers just to, for their attention i think of somebody like the aiden ross those kind of young kids they're just buying the latest and greatest because it's rare it's sparkly and it's going to get them attention but they're not actually buying sneakers for the love of sneaker culture you know like most of us are because you know we're the flipping dullards and they're the flipping big pop stars and superstars out there but for the most part you're buying them because of that right so you so for, sorry, for the most part they're obviously being appealed to sneakerheads so i don't know why nike or air jordan brand in general if there is the case that these are going to appeal to jordan brand why don't they invest more into actually making this shoe look like the original like instead of just having the midsole be a little bit stained like you added a tea bag on it and maybe bits of the upper and cracking on some leather bits and whatnot and the off-white laces why not just actually do something from the ground up and actually take a vintage shoe which there are plenty they can't say they don't have them they could buy them off of people they could loan on people's collections it's not hard to get hold of but they just don't so if they would do that it would be sick because what they could do is that they could take a jordan free from like the 90s 80s or whatever it may be and absolutely reverse engineer it like break it down to its key components and try and rebuild it in a contemporary era similar to what again adas did before with the whole you know stan smith's and jordan sorry stan smith's and um campus aes and s you know superstar adas superstars all those type of things they went a long way in terms of um really sort of setting the standard of what retro could be and myself being a long time nike fan and being a sneakhead for ages and ages i still remember how much pain i felt when nike reissued the nike air max light and the original t couple of colorways that we saw coming from like you know jd sports whatever were horrendous that like they legitimately bastardized and ruined a really iconic air max light because they couldn't be bothered to grab the original and try to reverse engineer it and for me when i see pictures like this online like this um, account here called mj um 023 dan where they basically bought a pair of what looks like jordan for firebreads the original 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 version from the 80s and they posted up on the instagram and obviously instagram is going google gaga for them because they're flipping amazing the colors are vibrant the shape is the main thing for me that really really throws me off apart from the colors apart from the clear obvious quality of material even on the finish you can just tell this thing is gonna last forever it's more so the way he asks the question as well but yeah I, I don't know i look at these type of things and i'm like to myself like there was a time when i was buying sneakers or in sneaker culture deep in forums where i remember where they would you know jordan brand or nike or whoever the powers that be at those retro places would kind of hold over people's heads stuff like the nike sign on the back of the hill tab right of a jordan 4 or a jordan 3 and stuff it'd be a big deal they'd kind of lord it over us and we, for the mo longest time they made us believe that it was a licensing thing or something like that where jordan brand and nike couldn't be seen on the same shoe something dumb and obviously we didn't care we chuckled and we kept it moving but i remember this being an actual thing in the forums i was in that hey jordan brand are thinking about putting the nike logo on the back of the hill tab it was like an absolute big debate people were going out first to try and buy theirs and saying the hill tab is on so it's really interesting and strange to see them go to you know to some lengths to rewrite the wrongs and other lengths they just don't care about 
or they don't want to address it in any kind of meaningful way because so far what I've seen definitely 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 steers me to the direction of just like a regular Jordan 3 with some dye you know added to it but not anything special from what I can see anyway but hey what do I know? What do I know? And look at how good these Jordan Falls look. Look at them. The shape, even even though they're cracked up and they look completely moldy and manky, the shape of them is so much better than the Jordan 3s that they held up a lot more than no Jordan 3s you saw earlier. It's absolutely crazy how much they hold up on there. But yeah, what can you do? What 